Now, if you look at this chapter, it's it's uh, remember he's been just getting the Hebrews who were so used to the physical aspect of their practice of their uh, faith uh, and getting them into understanding the doctrine of Christ and how the old is no longer necessary. That now that we have the final, the final real thing, we don't need to focus on shadows. Uh, as Pastor Joseph King was talking on that video that I referred you guys on on the last time. Now, if you actually look at this chapter, the breakdown of this, he's bordering on the subject of the spiritual, the physical, the spiritual, the physical. You can see it when he starts, brethren, beloved, continue in love. And uh, he then says, uh, be not forgetful or to entertain strangers for by so doing, some of you have entertained angels. So entertain strangers, physical, but you have we don't know that by so doing you've entertained angels heavenly so you see he's opening it with this physical spiritual now you do see this when you go further down into the verses here but i won't be able to read everything like for example verse number four interaction between the physical um marriage is honorable and uh, the bad undefiled homongers and whatnot god will judge so in this verse right there he's telling you the physical relationship that we now we not that we now have then he goes over into verse number seven remember them which rule over you who have spoken unto you the word of god whose faith follow so as you are following these people now i want you to focus on verse number seven all the way to nine um, whose faith follow, he says, consider the end of their conversation. Now, whatever doctrine they're teaching, consider everything as a whole, like a Berean, basically. Okay? But note that when you are doing that, when you are following the pastor, or while you are considering that you are following them as they follow Christ, as Paul would say in one area, remember that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow he's the same forever so basically have christ as the center of that following okay now why do i say that because when you go to verse number nine it kind of sandwiches it it puts it together it tells you why you need to do this be not carried away by diverse and strange doctrines so those people you are following make sure they are not teaching false doctrine make sure they are not teaching strange doctrine so in that case do you just follow the prophet without question that's a question you should have to ask. But then you will see that border, like that border of physical spirituality then goes to say, for it is good uh, that their heart be established with grace. Okay? So it's established with grace. So you, you understand. But uh, not with meat. So not the physical only, but also the spiritual right there. And so you can see that the, which have not profited them that have been or that have that have been occupied therein. Now it goes back spiritual, physical, right? But then even if you read verse number eleven there for the bodies of these beasts, what 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 physical, spiritual, physical, spiritual, because he has just finished this entire thing of showing Christ is the la is the end of everything. Now if you go down all the way to verse number 15, before we get to the 17th verse that he's talking about, he says, by, by him, Jesus, therefore, let us offer sacrifices of praise continuously to God, right? Now, how can you give praise continuously to God? Remember, by listening to God's word, you are giving praise to God. You are honoring his word, okay? That is a form of praise, yes. By listening to God's word, you are giving a form of praise. So how are you going to do that continuously if you are only listening to what your prophet says? I'll leave that one for you to answer, okay? Because it is not possible for you to do that if you are only listening to thing. He says that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks uh, to his name, not the name of the prophet, okay? So there's a point when the prophet's name is not... You give honor to the past, yes. Honor because they are laboring and they watch over your soul, which is the next part of the verse, right? He says, obey them who rule over you and submit yourselves now he takes that to mean if the prophet says jump you say oh, how high but now look at how the verse actually continues and he doesn't quote that part for they watch over your souls the verse continues to say as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and with uh, uh, not with grief okay he said don't be spiritually amateur 
<laughs> and only always be demanding, demanding from your pastor. If let them do so, knowing that this is growing you. Okay? The verse is not saying to just submit to whatever he says. Bear in mind that earlier part there, after he finished, he says, for, uh, for they watch over your soul as them that must give account. Now, that means that they must do so responsibly. <laughs> so are you submitting yourself to someone who is behaving himself like he's not going to be judged? Someone who is there believing that he is beyond judgment? No, he says they must give account as well. Now, remove the account. All these pastors that are out here who are doing all kinds of things. This is why you hear, you know, the pastor told me I must do this. Women are being forced to do things that they, they had not prepared by themselves to do because the pastor said so. So just, uh, just say how high. That's all. No, Baba. As them that must give account. Okay? He says that they may do so uh, not with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Okay? When the pastor doesn't perceive growth or maturity in the person, pray for us, for we, we trust and we have a good conscience in all things willing to live honestly. This is not saying that. The verse, yes, is saying that. You are in a church service and the pastor says, we are going to do things this way, right? And you look at your Bible, it does align. Y'all go on. Okay? Y'all go on. You follow him as he's following Christ and he's not introducing strange doctrines according to verse number 9. So Alf leaves out the rest of the context. Now, not that he has to quote it. Bear in mind. No, no, no. That's not what we say. But he must consider what the verse is saying with everything inside there. This is not right. That's not what the Bible is saying. That's not how to quote the Bible. It's actually a reality show with the daily Christian commentary videos. Here we focus on doctrinal subjects as it relates to what the world is saying about God and the spirit and what in the spirit world, all these things. And also we hound in on what pastors are teaching on the pulpit, which is contrary to what the biblification says. So again, and I'll see you on the later on. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of videos. See you later. Y'all be blessed. Salute.